We are called to be brides of Christ first and foremost. And then we take that love that we have for the Lord and we share it with all of those that we serve. We are spiritual mothers. And this is the charism of St. Cecilia, to be a bride of Christ, to be a spiritual mother, and to be willing to sacrifice our whole lives, to lay our lives down on the altar as we do at profession and say, Lord, I'm yours. Take all of me, take all of my life. Our day begins, the first thing we do is go into the chapel in the morning for meditation and then lauds and mass and just receive this grace and the love from the Lord that he has for us that we need for our daily life. And then we spend the day giving his love to others. People are hungry for Jesus. There's a longing to get to know him. So the last commission that the Lord gave his apostles and disciples before he ascended into heaven is to go and proclaim the gospel to all nations. For many of us, that happens right here at home. More and more over the years, that's included our missions abroad. So truly going and proclaiming the gospel to all nations. Our Christian life, our life as religious, our life as faithful, is simple. God is love and we just need to allow ourselves to let Him to love us. When I first visited, I saw that each sister had this deep and radiant joy. The joy is, is almost genetic in a sense from St. Dominic, our founder. That was one quality that people found in him was joy. And joy is contagious, so if you have 300 other women that are living with you that are joyful, you can't help but catch on to it. Everything in our life is sustained by a relationship with our Lord Jesus. And so coming to Him every day and relying upon His grace is what fuels the rest of our activity. So the things that the world sees is all supported by our life of prayer, whether it's the monastic customs or liturgical life or our own personal prayer. So our life needs to be one of constant prayer. I see that this life works, <laughs> you know, that sisters have lived it for over 150 years and has produced many saints and that will continue to inspire women to be saints for the Lord. When I got here, it was like I felt like I was home. This is what my heart has been made for. The prayer life, the community life, the life of service, the teaching, all these little pieces. Oh my goodness, my heart has been made for this. I always tell people I can't imagine being anywhere else or doing anything else. I feel like he made me for himself, and I'm so grateful he gave me the grace to say yes. Through his total self-gift on the cross, Jesus wed himself to his bride, the church. And through our vows, we have the opportunity to make a total self-gift of our life by offering it back to God. The call to consecrated life is a radical following of Jesus Christ. All people are called to follow Him, but as consecrated women, we're able to do so with an undivided heart. Because I've given my whole self to Him and to no one else, and it really is an adventure like no other.